carrying on with some real science again, some real chemistry on 3.2.2, amounts of substances in equations. This is a higher tier only task. So from a balanced symbol equation, um, where the number of atoms on each side is the same, um, remember the law of conservation of mass, we can calculate the mass of reactants or products uh, from that equation. All we need to know is the mass of one of the substances, and then we can calculate the mass of the other reactant needed, or the mass of the product formed. So there's loads of cool things you can do with these, as long as you approach them with confidence. So if you look at that equation, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid to make magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So if you look at the balancing in the equations, we'll see this. We can see that one mole of magnesium will react with two moles of hydrogen chloride, uh, hydrochloric acid, to make one mole of magnesium chloride and one mole of hydrogen gas. So straight away, our balanced equation tells us the relative number of moles of reactants and products that are used or formed. So let's look at a question here. So how much magnesium would you need to react fully with 0.5 moles of hydrogen chloride, of hydrochloric acid? So you know the moles of hydrochloric acid is 0.5. So then you look at the equation and say, how many moles of magnesium are gonna need relatively? Well, you need a one of magnesium to two hydrochloric acid. So you're gonna need 0.25 moles of magnesium to 0.5 moles of hydrochloric acid. So first mark there, you've identified you need 0.25 moles of magnesium. The second step is this, you need to know the relative mass, relative atomic mass of magnesium. So you look in your periodic table and it's 24. So you know one mole has a mass of 24, so therefore 0.25 moles must have 0.25 times 24 equals 6, 6 grams. So 6 grams of magnesium will fully react with 0.5 moles of hydrochloric acid.